what brought me here to Iowa is the abundant and unlimited uh, availability of research. And what really drew me to this program specifically was that you really get to choose what route you want to take as far as your research interests are concerned. And I felt like I could really choose my own path. You can really make this experience into anything that you want. We're a large program, number one, so we have five residents in each class. That's nice because you've got a, you've got a group of colleagues that you can work with that are, are in this unique uh, experience in life that you're experiencing at the same time. That you're walking this path together. They're people that you lean on, they become your best friends that you uh, keep in touch with for life. We spend a lot of time trying to make sure that our residents have an opportunity to really focus on each of the subspecialties in otolaryngology and then simultaneously they get a little bit of time out in the community working with some of our colleagues that uh, are in private practices. And so we want them to really have this broad experience and leave with the ability to do anything. Our department has a very strong foundation for decades and decades and decades in providing sort of top of the line tertiary clinical care uh, for patients. And so we have a very wide referral base that we gather from. You know, we're the only kind of tertiary quaternary care hospital in a big swath. So you will actually see every significant ENT problem in the entire state. And the residents here really kind of run the show. They run the show with the teams, they run the show with the consults, and they get a lot of autonomy in learning how to manage clinical problems. You get to see a variety of patients across all of Iowa. The residents are involved in every patient interaction and encounter that we have, whether it's in the clinic or whether it's in the operating room. We have both a very strong academic training center here, uh, which is the majority of our training, but then we also have um, multiple private practice rotations. So you can see how that side of the world works as well. I'm in my fourth year now, and but I feel incredibly confident in doing a lot of the, the bread and butter ENT cases. And I think, you know, as I progress through my fourth year and then my fifth year, I'll be, be very confident in you know, whatever I decide to do in the future. And the OR, they're you know, with us, we're hands-on. I think we get the appropriate amount of supervision and walk the residents through um, level-appropriate parts of the case. And by the time they're fifth years, they're really you know, running pretty independently. The culture is, is one of the things that we're the most proud of because it has this world-class training with a, with a down-to-earth uh, feel to it. In my five years here on the clinical track, I felt like I got to learn from these world-class faculty that really uh, graduated my experience, kind of starting me at a level that I was very comfortable and then encouraging me and pushing me through to the point that I felt very confident on the, uh, on the other end when I was leaving and felt that I went very prepared for fellowship and they really helped me find the kind of fellowship that I was looking for. So there is a, a spirit of family. I think that facilitates a really critical part of just patient delivered care, which is teamwork. You know, you don't run the type of operations and do the type of procedures and take care of the type of patients that we're entrusted with without having uh, a team of people involved. We hold each other uh, accountable, but we we really get along outside of the outside of the department as well. When I came here for interview, what really stood out to me was the uh, tight knit group uh, amongst the, the residents, um, and then the camaraderie amongst them as well, and how easily approachable the faculty were, and how um, committed they were to the residents and their training. You really create an environment that's really supportive. It's, it's a very open cooperative, collegial hospital system. We're, we're a very collegial um, environment. We try to be challenging as well, but supportive. And I think that, at least for me, that is an ideal learning um, environment and a uh, place to um, be able to train. So I think this department is a great place to work. It's a great place to train. It mainly is like that because of the people that are here. I can't imagine a better place to learn. Bringing people together in a way that we listen to each other and work with each other and use each other's ideas, I think makes us all better at what we do. And I think it's important to go to a program where you're gonna get good training um, in all the different subspecialties. You'll see a little bit of everything, and so you can kind of make a decision about what things you like, what things you don't. 
and that'll really help you um, home in on whatever you know post residency training you're interested in because we we get exposure to pretty much everything here so I, I you know I think that's a, a real big strength of the program as well I'm really passionate about just working with a good group of people towards a really worthwhile goal you can see the direct influence on patients life the research opportunities at the University of Iowa I think are unparalleled research has always been a very very strong part of, of Iowa especially in the, the hearing loss um, different types of um, electrodes for cochlear implants it's a lot of stuff we've done a lot of work here with we've got a research track where if you're interested in really getting digging into bench research or we've had residents that actually start companies through that get involved in uh, in creation of medical devices you can really dig in as much as you want one of the great strengths of Iowa is that we have so many resources that are available for people to be engaged and involved in research projects or something that that can help improve um, the patient care for people and really be a great innovation all of these things that you're finding in the lab or in your, or in your project are very quickly translated to how we care for our patients here. But we have this sort of innovative spirit where we're really trying to kind of push the edges and bring forward the next things that will help patients' lives and improve our specialty. We've got uh, several techniques that are really widely used that were pioneered here. And I think that really comes from this, this collaborative, open communication that we have really with the entire university, which allows you to really to do anything that you want to do. But there's really no limit to what they can do in terms of being involved in research, and so I think that's one of the great strengths here. Well, the passion is always about the people, and one of the unique things about Iowa are the people that you're caring for. So it's a privilege to take care of people who kind of just like lay their soul into your hands, especially doing head and neck cancer. You know, these are people at their most vulnerable state. Um, so it's a real privilege to take care of them, and that's what kind of gets me to work every day. It really starts there and it ends there. It is really being a part of their worst day ever, and then you stay with them until you are a part of one of their best days ever when you get to tell them that they're done, that they're finished, that, that it worked. That that's really what, what brings you back through some difficult days, some long nights, but it's, it is really being motivated by the patient stories. It's such a broad field that we get to take care of patients from, from uh, birth, from in the NICU and PICU, all the way up to older patients and follow them up throughout their entire life. We've done procedures looking at airways of someone that's maybe a week old, all the way up to very complicated head and neck cancers or, or ear tumors on patients that are in their, their 80s and 90s. I just think seeing the entire breadth of how an otolaryngologist can care for someone throughout their entire life. As a added bonus, um, I get to teach some of the best residents in the country. So teaching people how to work up a patient, how to have a conversation with the patient, how to pick up things on rounds, how to operate. You know, it's not just in the OR, it's across all of those fields. And um, it's definitely one of the most rewarding parts of the job to see people graduate from residency, go on to do what they want to do um, and be successful in their careers. One of the best uh, hidden factors about coming to the University of Iowa is living in Iowa City. It's a city that is made for three million people and has 60,000 people. You know, Iowa is just a fantastic place to live. I think Iowa City is this unique little utopia sitting in the middle of the Midwest. It's this place where you can work at a world-class institution and walk home at the end of the day, decompress, go meet your friends at the bar for a drink, go out to dinner, go see a movie. What I love about Iowa is the lifestyle, and I also like all the opportunities to do things outdoors that I've found here. It's a small city, but it has a lot of big personality, I guess, if you will. Um, there's a lot of culture here, there's a lot of music, there's a lot of arts. It's a great life in Iowa. We'd enjoy having people come, and, and those who are interested in training here would love to have them.